Welcome, everybody. Thank you for purchasing my course on concentrated liquidity farming, where I show you my strategies and how to be a profitable yield farmer. What you're going to learn in this video is just an introduction on myself, who am I, my experience, and what, what you're going to learn throughout this course. So uh, let's get started. Okay, an introduction on myself. Who am I? Well, I go by the flow locker, but you can call me John. I've been trading the stock market since 2009, and I consider myself a seasoned trader. I uh, started trading during the financial crisis, learned a lot of hard lessons, uh, transitioned, transitioned into options, first buying options, and then learned how to sell option premium, which is what I kind of compare Uniswap to. It's kind of like selling option premium. So if you're an option premium seller and you got experience doing that, uh, you might be able to relate to this. I have experience in different asset classes and have developed this over the years, over a decade. So I've got uh, experience in stocks, options, futures, crypto, got into crypto in 2017, right? Traded through that bull market and uh, started providing liquidity on Uniswap uh, mid around 2021. So I've been honing and, and developing my strategy in Uniswap and concentrated liquidity farming uh, for almost two years now. Uh, as far as my market analysis, how I trade, my executions, I keep everything simple, very simple. Nothing complicated. You don't need to be a complicated trader. You can make it as complicated as you want, right? Whatever works for you, and if it works for you, you can apply this to Uniswap, to concentrated liquidity farming. You can, you can keep it as simple as you want. Um, you have to tailor it to what kind of trader you are, right? What kind of, what kind of analysis you do? What fits you? What fits your personality? What fits into your life? You have to tailor trading into your life, right? It's got to be a part of your personality. Learning and just copying someone else's strategy, it's kind of like a piece in a puzzle. It, it, if it doesn't fit, it's just not going to work for you. This is what you have to develop. This is what you have to focus on and understand. And it's really not so much about learning charts and drawing lines and Fibonacci retracements and all this, right? But the main part of trading is understanding market psychology, right? Understanding how people think, how emotions run, right? Where are people most likely to congregate and create trading opportunities. And that's how you develop your edge. So if you could describe edge, it's, it's you. You are the edge. Once you create that strategy that works for you, that's your edge. You can't, you can't learn someone else's edge and replicate it exactly because that edge is a part of that person. All right. So here are my prerequisites. Just things that I would suggest understanding and learning prior to taking this course. Uh, just a general understanding of concentrated liquidity pools. Uh, a basic under understanding goes a long way. Even experienced yield farming, whether it's traditional pools or even concentrated liquidity pools, that is definitely a plus in which just help you uh, really focus on learning the advanced strategies here that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, a general market analysis, right? Understanding, having basic knowledge and experience analyzing markets, uh, you know, reading charts, nothing fancy, just simple analysis that that works for you and that you can apply to concentrated liquidity farming and a keen attitude to learn. Right. Just learning new things takes time, some patience and consistency, and it'll all come together eventually. So uh, keeping an open mind, learning new things, I think that would help you go a long way. Okay, so what will be covered in this course? We're going to go over con concentrated liquidity pools, obviously, versus traditional pools. What's the difference in them, right? We're going to talk about impermanent loss, how to manage impermanent loss for maximum opportunity. That's going to be a big, that's going to be a big topic. And I think that's a very big topic for a lot of people. Uh, mean reversion, how to use price action to your advantage. How to, how to structure your pools to take advantage of the mean reversion trade. Okay, how to determine what strategy is best for you, right? Are you bull, bear, neutral, right? I have a strategy for all that. 
properly structuring and rebalancing your liquidity pools based on your market analysis. That's why it's important. You have your own analysis and you could structure your liquidity pools based on that. Delta hedging. Learning how to delta hedge your liquidity pools and how to manage them. Pitfalls of concentrated liquidity. What you should look out for. In, in markets, it's all about compromise, give or take. You get some here, you give some up there. Everything has a compromise. That's what makes a market. You know, try to forego in your mind, trying to look for that golden strategy that's going to give you all the profits with no risk because it doesn't exist. If that existed, there would be no market. Everybody would be doing that. And it's just not realistic. All right. So I will go over that. Tracking your performance. This is probably one of the most important things you have to do when providing liquidity on concentrated liquidity pools. If you aren't tracking your performance, you're just navigating blindly. You're, you're getting on your ship and you're just without a map. You're just floating along in the sea and hoping for the best, right? So it's very important that you track your progress, where you're going, where you need to adjust, how to fine tune that strategy to, to really get the most out of your liquidity pools. Because one mix up, one mistake can cost you a lot. All right, so searching for opportunities in concentrated liquidity pools. I will be going over that. Your mindset, how to think as a liquidity provider. It's very important to be in the right mindset and to think appropriately to understand how this works and what kind of mindset you need to be in in order to run this strategy. You ready? Let's go. All right, what to expect. What are you gonna learn in this course? By the end of this course, you should be able to do the following. You should be able to create an offensive or a defensive liquidity pool. I will show you how to structure your pools based on your market analysis to develop an edge over time while helping to reduce and mitigate risk, right? Controlling and permanent loss and using mean reversion, right? You're gonna learn how to recognize and control that in permanent loss and use mean reversion as one of the greatest weapons against impermanent loss. Your mindset. Mindset is everything. Learning how to pre-plan your trades, knowing where to manage, how to automate your process. It all allows you to remove the emotion, the emotion out of trading and be mechanical. You know, once you can remove the emotion, you're calm. There's nothing to be emotional about. You know exactly what to do when that time comes, right? When it becomes time to manage, you just execute. You're like, you already have it pre-planned and set and ready to go. That's very important. You don't want to be caught with your pants down, not having a plan. And when it becomes time to manage or, or it's too late to manage and you get emotional, you can avoid those mistakes by being prepared. All right, for the last slide, plan, execute, and be consistent. What does that mean? I drummed up some quotes from Sun Tzu. I really like these, and I think it really applies to yield farming. Here's the first one. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable, as impenetrable as night. And when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. What does that mean? Right? It means, it means plan out what you're going to do in the dark, waiting for that right opportunity. And when it comes, you strike without fail. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. How does that even apply to yield farming? Well, when there's chaos, there's opportunity. And what that means in yield farming is that when the, when the transactions are high, when emotions are high, when people are having a ton of fear, or a lot of greed in the market, that's where that volume comes in. And as a con concentrated liquidity farmer, you're looking for that real yield. You need real transactions to happen in your pools. And the highest transactions are when there's high emotions. Trying to time and be out of the market when things are, when things are wild and crazy, that's not, that's not the strategy. Because if you're only in the market and providing liquidity, 
There are in times when it's very calm. You're going to earn a very low amount of fees and you might not even be successful at doing it. You have to be in the market at all times. You have to be in the market, especially when things are chaotic, when things, when volume is high, when fear is heightened, when greed is heightened, you need to be there providing that liquidity. And that's where you really get paid in yield. All right. Next quote, victorious warriors win first and then go to war while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. What does that mean? Right. You have to have the right mindset. You know, before you go in into the battlefield, you need to be in that right mindset to win. You have to picture that victory and develop and create that confidence you need to be to be successful in yield farming. So that's the last slide. I hope you guys enjoyed this intro and let's get started with the course.